How to monitor oxygen levels and deliver oxygen therapy. We're going to demonstrate how to check a patient's oxygen level using a pulse oximeter and deliver oxygen therapy using an oxygen cylinder tank and nasal cannula. Hi, what brings you in today? So I've had a cough and my friend recently got tested positive for COVID-19. Are you having any trouble breathing? No. I'm gonna check your oxygen levels because some people that have COVID-19, even if they're not having any trouble breathing, they can have low oxygen levels. Okay. Make sure to keep your pulse oximeter charged so it's ready to go. Turn on the pulse oximeter by pressing the power button. Place the pulse oximeter so there's a snug fit on the finger. The probe shouldn't be too tight, which may constrict the blood vessels, or too loose, which may cause it to fall off or let light in. If the patient has henna, tattoos, nail polish, or other dye on their finger, it may lead to inaccurate results. You might have to switch the probe to a different finger, toe, or earlobe. Many probes will beep when the reading is complete. The pulse oximeter shows that our patient has an oxygen saturation of 85%. An oxygen saturation below 90%, even in a patient without symptoms, requires oxygen therapy. Your oxygen levels are low. So what does that mean? Well, some people with COVID-19, even if they don't have trouble breathing, can have low oxygen levels. I recommend we start oxygen therapy, so that way your brain and your heart can get the oxygen that you need. Okay, if you think it'll help, but does it hurt? Oh no, it's not gonna hurt at all. Okay. You can just rest your hand right there. First, attach the regulator to the tank. You don't have to screw it in too tightly, just enough so it's secure. Slowly turn the valve counterclockwise to allow oxygen to flow. Next, check the pressure gauge to make sure the needle is not in the red zone. If it is in the red zone, that means there's not enough oxygen in the tank. The flow meter can be started at a flow rate of 0.5 to 1 liter per minute for neonates, 1 to 2 liters per minute for infants and older children, up to a maximum of 4 liters per minute for preschool and school-aged children, and up to a maximum of five liters per minute for adults. Make sure that all the tubing is properly connected. If it's loose, tighten the connection. If you aren't sure whether the equipment is working, place your hand in front of the nasal cannula to feel if the oxygen is coming out. Since the patient is an adult, you can start the oxygen at five liters per minute. Oxygen should not be started in close proximity to flames or fire. The nasal cannula prongs should be facing down as you place them. For optimal results, make sure the person's nose is not blocked. The tubing will go over the patient's ears to keep it in place. After the oxygen has been flowing for 15 minutes, check the patient's oxygen levels again using the pulse oximeter. Please note that with children, sometimes taping the tubing to the face with medical tape can help to secure the nasal cannula. I'm going to check your oxygen levels again now that you have the oxygen flowing. Okay. In this case, the patient's oxygen levels have come up to 96%. The goal saturation is above 90%. The target has been reached. Mm, your oxygen is improving. That's great. The patient may need continued oxygen therapy for multiple days or weeks. Options may include having them stay at the clinic if there is capacity or transferring them to another facility or hospital for continued oxygen therapy. There, providers can continue to monitor the patient's oxygen levels and wean the patient off of the oxygen therapy once they no longer require it. Now that the patient's oxygen saturation is remaining above 90%, the patient can be reassessed every four to six hours, or at least once a day, to try decreasing the oxygen. If the patient's oxygen levels do not remain above 90% with the oxygen therapy, do not go above 2 liters per minute for children or above 5 liters per minute for adults using the nasal cannula. More intensive care is needed. When you are finished using the pulse oximeter, clean it gently with a disinfectant cloth or alcohol swab. Dispose of the nasal cannula. The equipment is safe to use in children, adults, and pregnant women and can deliver life-saving therapy to people who need it. For more information, please visit cdc.gov.